Good morning, Abuja. Welcome to the sports segment of the Weekend Show. My name is Ojiri Akpan. I love to start with an inspirational quote from some of the biggest sports stars in the world. And today I go to Skien, Olympian Linse Van. And today she says, I'm never tired of winning. I'm never tired of skiing. So if you win a lot, you keep doing exactly what you do to win. If you don't win, you have to change your tactic. Okay, so let's get straight into the talking points from this week. We'll start off with the FIFA Under-17 World Cup. Reserve. It opens today, opening ceremony and all that. But um, Nigeria will be in action against Hungary. We are in Group B. And, of course, we are in Group B alongside Ecuador, Australia, Hungary. So it's uh, a sixth um, World Cup title campaign for us. So we're hoping we can pick up another under 17 World Cup title in Brazil 2019. So there's, uh, there you see it right there, the 2019 under and 17 World Cup. You can see the group stages. We have Group A, Angola in Group A, Brazil, Canada, New Zealand, Nigeria is in Group B. I told you Australia, Ecuador and Hungary. We see in Group C, Chile, France, Haiti and South Korea, Japan, Netherlands, Senegal, United States in Group D. We have an Argentina, Cameroon, Spain and Tajikistan. Tajikistan, okay, in uh, Group E, and we see Group F has Italy, Mexico, Paraguay, and the Solomon Islands. So that is the entire number of teams in the Under-17 World Cup that is kicking off today. 26th of October ends on the 17th of November. Away from the let's go straight to the FIFA rankings. It was released on Thursday this week. And uh, let's take a look. We thought that the one-all draw against... Um, Brazil was going to do something for our rankings. Well, you got to think again. But before we get, uh, yeah, let's take a look at that. Um, we dropped in the rankings. Uh, let's see. One sport we dropped from 34 to 35. But Senegal is still topping in the African rankings. Tunisia is next. Nigeria is third on, Af on the African continent. Algeria is fourth and Morocco is fifth. You can see the top 10 in Africa or the top, yeah, the top 10 in Africa right there on your screen. So um, talking about the top 10, Yes, nothing changed in that angle. The top 10, the top four, yes, there was no change, absolutely. They may have dropped points or not, but there was no change whatsoever in the top 10. Now, why we dropped and then Brazil, who has not won a friendly game or international game in the last four games, did not drop, it's for us to go find out. Or maybe we should give, um, call FIFA and ask them to explain further about the FIFA rankings because we don't understand how that goes down. But... Of course, there were goals, beautiful score, goals scored in the week. There was also UEFA Champions League uh, matches played in midweek. But let's take a look at some of the goals from the last week. Coutinho, finding Gnabry, always involved. The provider for the first. Gnabry, scoring the second for Bayern. I'm in repeat. Walcott into the penalty area. Bernard declines the opportunity to shoot, twists and turns, and scores! I'm in repeat. Allison, Ziggerton. Ziggerton, he's got it on his right foot, and that finishes it! I'm in repeat. These are nervy moments for Milan. Calderoni hits it. It's a thunderbolt. Marco Calderoni has stunned the San Siro. And look at what it means to Lecce. They may well be taking a point back down south. It is an absolute hammer blow into that bottom corner. You can have two Donnarumma's in that goal. And you are not stopping that one. Beautiful one there from Calderoni. Um, Lecce stunning AC Milan at home to a 2 0 draw during the midweek. Okay, so let's go straight away from there to the fixtures. The matches will be played today, 12 o'clock. Kickoff, we'll see games in that one. But before we get to the fixtures, let's take a look at the CAF Competitions Cup. We see that there will be matches today, and Aimba will be in action against South African side TS Galaxy, and of course, Kara of Togo will take on Enigo Rangers. We're hoping that um, we can see our teams get into the group stage of the CAF Champions League. This is the final qualifying round before the group stage, so we're hoping that our teams can make it into the um, group stage of the CAF Competitions Cup. People like to call it the money spinning stage, but I just say money spinner. <laughs> okay, but talking about money, um, Sam Chikweze just signed a new contract um, with Villarreal, his club. It's uh, worth about um, 100 million euros. You release clause. It, that story just broke 
Okay, so it's really, really good. Congrats to Samuel Chigwezi. The previous contract was actually worth about 40 million euros. Let's take a look at the fixtures right now in the English Premier League. We see Manchester City in action against Aston Villa. Early kickoff today away from England. Also, we know one big game is Liverpool Sports. But let's move away from England straight to other places across Europe. The top five leagues right now, maybe Spain, the Spanish La Liga, the Bundesliga. There are games coming up in around those places this weekend. So we'll take a look at um, those later on. But right now, let's go straight to uh, the one story that broke up. Before we go there, let's talk about the Liverpool Tottenham Hotspur game. That is the match of the weekend for me. And it's a big game because Liverpool have not lost this season. They have dropped points, yeah, one or two draws, but they have not lost this season. City has lost, I think, twice already. And you know what the tale is when it comes to the Premier League title. So it's a serious race. Now, sports has been in poor form recently, but it did a really solid one against Resta Belgrade in midweek against the U in the UEFA Champions League. So um, what people are saying, maybe their confidence is back before they take on Liverpool in that one. Let's see what kind of um, um, challenge they can drop to the Liverpool team who are playing at home at Anfield today. Of course, key players in that game is, of course, Roberto Firmino for Liverpool, and they also have... Um, um, Harry Kane for Spurs in that one. Kane so far has scored five goals in nine appearances for Tottenham Hotspurs. Roberto Firmino has helped Liverpool out, although they have Salah and Mane, but he scored uh, three goals in nine appearances. So those are the matchups for the game today Liverpool against Tottenham Hotspurs. And of course, you know, it is club up against Mauricio Pochettino. And he says he doesn't have, Pochettino said he doesn't have, he's not losing sleep at night over, um, losing sleep, I beg your pardon, at night over the, the poor form of Tottenham Hotspurs. Hotspots, but I think their confidence just might be back after the 5 0 victory over Red Star Belgrade in midweek in the Champions League. But let's wrap it up right now with one story from the sports minister. Of course, this week he came out to say that um, he has returned the money. Oh, he will return it um, soon enough that he has approved it uh, about. Um, some uh, some time in 2017, the, Atlanta, the International Athletics um, Association's Federations, uh, IAAF, sent, um, mistakenly sent 150,000 um, US dollars to the AFN, that's the Athletics Federation of Nigeria, and that money has been hanging since. They're supposed to have a refund to the IAAF about, of about uh, 130,000 um, US dollars, and the minister has finally decided to, of course, uh, approve the return, um, the return of that money to the coffers of the IAAF. So kudos to the minister. Thank you so much for that. He went to, the, to, his, to his Twitter handle, that's the social media on Twitter, to announce that he has done that. But I am wrapping up right here on the show. I hope you had a fantastic time. There's more to come, more music, more entertainment on the weekend show. Osasuik Benedion and Andy Madiki, Kenvi Adams. And coming up, Ina, you get to hear more from the delectable Kenvi Adams. Don't touch, don't touch the screen.